from Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh, my name is Ken, and I am a creative from New York that moved to Europe in 2012. Normally, I stream about art and my creation processes online and demo things. But today, I'm going to talk about some of the tech that I use to create uh, online content. And first off, I'm going to talk about Logitech. Logitech is an awesome company that's been around for years. Uh, I've had mouses from Logitech for a long time. Uh, they're just great mouses that you can use to create things and their cameras are really wonderful. And the first thing I want to talk about is the camera that I'm streaming from now. And that is the C922 Pro Stream Cam. And I first found out about this uh, because I'm involved a lot with like Adobe. I emailed one of the Adobe influencers that creates a lot of, on, well, sorry, Adobe Evangelist. Uh, he's more than an influencer about uh, the kind of camera that he uses. And I emailed Terry White. And if you know the photo community in the US and know some of the big name photographers and editors and so forth like that, then you've probably heard of Terry. He's always at Photoshop World every year giving lectures. Uh, so Terry recommended the C922 Pro Stream webcam for me. And uh, it does uh, background replacement. It comes with a tripod. Uh, it's designed with Logitech C or G. Uh, it's 180p, uh, 30 frames per second, um, which is great. It also comes with a free trial to XSplit, um, which I haven't tried because I'm using uh, Scorpbot and uh, OBS and all that, so I don't need that, but I still have that if I ever want to use it. Um, and the tripod's uh, fully adjustable tabletop tripod with swivel mount that extends to 18.5 centimeters. Uh, that's great, that's all I need. Well. I have it placed on a box uh, so you can see over my Wacom Cintiq companion. Uh, normally you might take, I could take the camera off and put it right here on my uh, Cintiq companion, but it kind of wobbles. So uh, I decided, all right, since I'm drawing directly on it, I need it to have be on the tripod. So I need it to be a little raised higher. So I put it on a box behind uh, the Cintiq and it's probably about maybe that far away. Um, what else about this uh, camera? Let's see, it's full HD, like I said, uh, 180p at 30 frames per second, or 720p at 60 frames per second. Uh, it says it's got a sharp fluid video with H.264 compression, which is really, really nice. It does do background replacement, so if I had a green screen behind me, I could uh, get rid of that and um, make myself appear uh, floating, or I could replace the background and put a beach behind me or something so that's great so great to integrate live images while broadcasting on twitch and youtube so perfect it's what we're doing uh automatic low light correction uh stream clear video and dim light yeah it does look uh light correction really well um because sometimes here when i'm streaming or we're doing an online course for adobe here uh depending on the day of the year, and the sun might go down. Uh, so it changes and compensates for that when that does. And normally I turn my light on um, when I notice that. Um, let's see what else I can see about this. What else is in the box? And I've been using this for since December of last year. So really love it can't remember what information it came with there's my X split and my little logitech book the safety uh, safety and the instructions on how to set it up pretty simple you can just basically plug it in and it goes. I can't remember if I had a downloader driver or if a driver was already installed, but really easy, great quality webcam, highly recommend it. Uh, to use it for professional usage is perfect and I simply love it. So let me just close this back up. And again, that's the C922 Pro Stream webcam from Logitech. Again, really awesome Logitech constantly producing things. And the other cool thing that I got not too long ago and I haven't opened and I wanted to save it for opening for uh, 
streaming purposes is let me just go back here real quick in the chat um, is the silent plus m30 m300 or 330 or 330 uh, silent plus mouse and got it in red you can get it in blue and there's two different ones that you can get one has a, a longer lifetime um, and I think they last for about maybe two years and so forth and then you might need to replace it uh, I haven't had problems with my Logitech mice I've usually had them longer uh, so it depends on how many hours you're using it for a day I mean maybe this isn't a mouse you're going to use for uh, online game playing I mean, you can try it, but I've heard people, they prefer not to. So, what else does it say? Number one leader in mice. Mice, not rats, mice. Uh, so, and then over 90% noise reduction, same click feel, no click noise. Uh, and right here on the back, I don't know if you see uh, the little noise reduction where it shows the triangle, the little graphic. So... Your regular mouse, your M170 is up here, and right here is the M330 Silent Plus. Uh, it's a 10 meter reliable wireless range, so you can go a little ways back, I'm not going to, but maybe if I was like doing a chat or a lecture or live off a stage or at an office or something like that then I don't have to be right directly in front of my computer uh, so if maybe the computer's to the side and I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation or an InDesign presentation or something like that then I can be clicking around and the computer could be not sitting directly in front of me um, it's got advanced optical tracking that is smooth and precise uh, it's got a long lasting battery life with auto on and off uh, it says it's good for 24 months uh, which is great I think uh, they probably will last longer it depends on how much you're using it per day um, what's in the box you have uh, the mouse I believe a USB cable and the battery so let's open this baby and check it out because I'm excited and the box is easy to open. It's just got like these little pull tabs right here. So, great thing is you don't have to use scissors. And I know a lot of people hate those scissors. You're always cutting around and you might slit your hand open or something like that. So, great that Logitech decided you know, to create a mouse that was easy to open. Or a box that was easy to open. So, before we open that up, let's see what all is in here. Uh, So, gives the little instructions, looks kind of like Ikea instructions almost. Uh, number one, turn on, uh, pull out the slip. I guess that's so the battery doesn't die out. And then also, there is a little slip uh, below it, and you're supposed to put in the USB into the mouse. Then put the USB into the computer or the TV. And... If there's any questions, you can go to Logitech.com support or Logitech.com backslash support backslash M330. So I think this is going to be pretty easy for setup. So here is the mouse and I'll click it. Can't really hear it, right? That's really quiet. And then here's my other mouse. As you can see, that makes a lot of noise. So this is really, really silent. And this is good. This is really good. Um, and it's already put onto the on mode. So now we just pull oh, that out. And then we get the USB right here. And I am going to plug it into my Anchor USB hub, something that I bought not too long ago. 
So give me one second because I have to get around all these little wires right here. All right, so it is in and it's setting up a device already. Is there anything special that I need to do for it? Or does it work already? Oh, wow. All right, so hey, that's awesome. I just plugged that little piece in and I guess I'll show you. Now you can see with no setup at all, it's automatically reading my mouse, which is really cool. Didn't have to do anything, so it's already ready and ready to work, which is really cool. And again, uh, you know what? I'm gonna set it down for a minute and I'm gonna go over here to a file that I was working on. I'm gonna unplug my old mouse. Now, most of the time I'm using a, I'm using a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. Uh, so most of the time I don't need the mouse. I just draw directly on the screen. But for some applications like, uh, example, Adobe Character Animator or Adobe um, uh, Animate CC, I might need to use a mouse to click on. Other words, I'm using my stylus uh, on my Wend uh, on my Wacom Cintiq Companion, and it works wonders. So again, that's really smooth moving around on my screen, as you can see the mouse, really nice. And I'm using a wood surface uh, because this is a laser mouse. You can use it on pretty much any surface except something that's reflective. So if it's kind of like this glossy finish, it might not work so well on there. You might need a mouse pad or you don't want to use it on a glass tabletop. Again, things like that, the laser's not going to read, and that goes with any kind of laser mouse or laser pointer mouse. So let me just open up Adobe Illustrator real quick. See, you didn't even hear me click. Aha, there we go. So we'll click around on here and see just as a test to see how uh, this mouse works out. And again, for this illustration that I'm pulling up, I've been using pretty much the uh, pen to draw with. And then every once in a while, because I, had, I was streaming it live on Instagram, I had my cell phone and this big bad boy in streaming. Um, I didn't want to uh, touch everything, so to speak. And because my I have these keys right here on the side of my Cintiq, I couldn't get to those because I had this big bad boy sitting right there. So just give it a second for it to come on. Illustrator's loading up really slow today. Not sure why. And this is what I've been working on today and yesterday. And I'm just zooming out and now I'm rolling up again not really much sound this is perfect for a lot of things that I'm doing uh, and I find that this is probably less annoying than hearing me with this other mouse whoops this other Logitech mouse that's older uh, but still an awesome mouse I love it and I'll probably still use it it'll probably be my travel mouse uh, from now on so, big difference in the, the clicks. Loud, no sound. Loud, no sound. So, let's see how well it selects things. So, I am just going to create a new layer and make sure the other layers are locked down. And let's draw with it just to see. Yeah, not bad. And let's click a point. Yep, 
Easy peasy. Yeah, so the mouse works perfectly here. Just gonna delete that line and so forth. So I think this is gonna come in handy for presentations and other things because having that, you know, that just noisy mouse where it was constantly making sound was not good. And this is this is gonna be less distracting uh, from what I'm doing and when I'm creating content people be able to follow it better instead of hearing this little clickety 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 clickety. So again, another cool product from uh, Logitech. Really cool uh, color. Fits perfectly in my hand. And it's only got the two buttons and the wheel. And I found I don't really need for creating to have like three or four buttons and so forth like that because I have the buttons here on uh, my Cinti Companion. Um, with like uh, the rocker wheel and I also have the buttons here and also here so a lot of times I, I don't need buttons on a mouse I mean uh, if I'm using it I mean maybe with word and so forth but no this is this is perfect and as you can see it's really fluid movement uh, again I'll put it on the big box and show you so really fluid movement And that's just the sound from the box because the box is cardboard. But here on the wooden surface, it doesn't make any sound. So that's perfect. So that was the uh, Logitech C922 Pro webcam, which you see me streaming on now. Um, and the Logitech Silent Plus M330 mouse and again I'm running this on a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2 uh, with a blue snowball white textured microphone that has three settings on the back I have my second monitor right here so I can watch uh, OBS and also so I can watch Sportbot to see when people are coming into chat so really really wonderful uh, devices produced by Logitech and I hope to be talking about more of them soon in the future because they're always coming out with cool things. So thanks again, and thanks for viewing. And I want to stop the recording. And remember, happy creating.